Hey, it's Dr. Nessie from EasyDOTPhysicals.com back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to talk all about drug testing for marijuana when it comes to employment. So all about marijuana testing when it comes to the workplace. Now, this is an ever-changing kind of situation as more and more states legalize marijuana and potentially maybe in the future, the federal government might legalize marijuana. So the testing situation may change, but as of the posting of this video, this is all of the facts about marijuana testing when it comes to the workplace. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna cover a few different topics. I'm gonna to cover the state versus the federal and the differences there. I'm gonna talk about what happens, what actually happens during the testing process when you go in to take your drug test. I'm gonna talk about when you're tested. So if you are trying to get a job or you already have a job, when, what situations might trigger you to have a drug test specifically for a marijuana? How long will you stay dirty? So if you are a marijuana user, how long do you need to wait before you will test clean? And how do you detox and can you detox and do detox products even work? And then finally, we'll talk about will the federal laws change in the future? Because as I'm assuming everybody out there knows, marijuana is still listed as federally illegal again as of the posting of this video. So let's dive right into each of these topics. All right, so first and probably most importantly, let's talk about the differences between the federal government and the state government when it comes to marijuana testing. So I did just touch on this a second ago, but let's dive a little further into it. There are going to be some significant differences. The federal government, which controls many different entities which do require drug testing and marijuana will always be one of the drugs that is tested for um, with the federal government if it's a federal drug test. So think of things like uh, the FMCSA for the Department of Transportation, truck drivers, um, things like that. They are going to be tested for marijuana. They're going to be doing the five panel drug test, one of those drugs being marijuana. So if it's a federal test, if it's a, a department that is controlled by the federal government, for instance, the FMCSA, you're going to be tested for marijuana across the board. And that does that is not, there's no exception if your state has it legal for uh, medical use or if it's just legal uh, recreationally. It does not matter if it's a federal test. Marijuana is still federally illegal. It's still an illegal drug. It will be tested for and a positive result will come about if you test positive for marijuana. Now, state law is much different. There are a number of states that have made it illegal in the state to discriminate if you are positive on a drug test for marijuana. And I will put those states up here on the screen. The first state is New Jersey. They prohibit discrimination against marijuana users. New York does the same thing. Connecticut also prohibits discrimination against people that are using marijuana, Nevada, the same thing, Rhode Island, and Montana. Now, what this is in reference to is private companies. So if private companies require drug testing, they may test for marijuana, but they are not allowed to discriminate against you if you test positive for marijuana. So they're not allowed to not give you the job basically solely on the fact that you tested positive for marijuana. So that's all the states that have that law in place. All right, and next let's talk about what actually happens when you go in to get your pre-employment drug test done. So I have done a complete video on what a drug test procedure looks like. Um, I will leave a link to that full video here, so I won't go through everything again, but here are the basics. You will come in, you will fill out a little bit of paperwork, and then we're gonna sit down and talk with you for a little bit, and we are going to have you remove any unnecessary articles um, like big bulky jackets. Uh, we're gonna have you leave certain items in the room. We're not gonna have you, we're gonna uh, allow you to take in um, a whole bunch of different items because we don't want you to be able to contaminate the uh, sample that you're using. We're not gonna be patting you down or anything like that. And then we're gonna take you to go give your sample. And typically, now most 
of the time, you're not going to be observed. We're not going to be watching you give your sample. So you're going to be in, in, in a room, a bathroom by yourself. You will go and give your sample. You will give it back to us. We will check it for temperature, color. We'll just make sure it looks like a good sample. We will package it up, maybe do a little bit more paperwork, and then you are on your way. So the drug testing process is actually relatively simple. And if you're not looking to do anything nefarious, cheat on the drug test, beat the drug test, it usually goes very, very easily as long as you don't have a shy bladder, which can be a real big headache for both the person giving the sample and the person trying to get the sample. So as long as you can give us a sample, usually this process goes very, very smoothly. All right, and next, let's talk about when you might be tested. So if you are in a job where drug testing, marijuana testing is required, there's maybe three different instances where you might be tested. So number one, and most obvious, is before you actually begin employment. So before you are officially employed, you'll have to go through a drug screen. Um, that one is pretty straightforward. Um, if your job requires a test for marijuana, a negative drug test, you'll have to do that before you can actually start working. Number two is if there is ever an incident or an accident where it is suspected that you might be impaired, then you could potentially need to take another drug test uh, for marijuana if that is the case. So let's say you're a driver and you get into an accident and hurt somebody, God forbid, or cause a lot of damage or something like that, then it might be suspected that you are impaired and you might have to take a drug test then. And then the third time that you might have to take a drug test is just random. Sometimes you're just put into a random uh, testing pool and your name just gets pulled and you have to randomly go submit for a sample. So really there are three times when you might be tested if your job requires marijuana testing. Okay, next on the list, let's talk about how long you would need to wait after you stop using before you will test clean. Now again, I've done a full video on how long different drugs stay in your system and the different types of testing, whether it be a urinalysis, hair testing, blood testing, saliva testing. I will again leave a link to that full video up here but I'll briefly go over it um, on this video as well. So the testing time, and, and I'm gonna speak specifically to your analysis because that's what the government is gonna use and that is what most employers are going to use for marijuana specifically. And there's been a lot of pushback against using a urinalysis for marijuana testing because of how long the window potentially is. And here, I'll put up this graphic here. The government, the federal government actually states that for urinalysis, marijuana can stay in your system for up to two months. So it's possible that after you stop using, you could test still positive for up to two months. And that could be a lot shorter. I typically think that the time frame is about a month for an average user. But if you're a heavy, heavy user and you've used for an extended period of time, that could go way up, up to again, two months that you could test positive. So it does depend on how frequently you used marijuana in the past and how heavy of a user it was, but I would expect one to two months before you start testing clean. So as far as testing clean and how long the metabolites stay in your system, is there anything that you can do to clean out your system faster? There's all these detox methods uh, out there on the internet. There's all these detox products. Do they work? Well, unfortunately, I can't find any credible scientific data that says that any particular method worked. If there was one, I would definitely make a video. It'd be the first thing I would do would be make a video about that method, but I can't find anything with any credible scientific research behind it. I have heard anecdotally um, in the comments of some of my videos and from some drivers that I see that require testing um, that there are ways that work, but I'm not gonna quote anything on here because I just, I haven't seen anything that leads me to believe that if you take a specific detox product or go through a specific detox method that you're gonna test clean in a shorter period of time for marijuana than you would otherwise. So unfortunately the answer is no, I don't think detoxes for marijuana actually make the testing window shorter.
All right, and finally, let's go back and talk about the federal government again and discuss whether the federal government will ever just legalize marijuana and do away with marijuana testing altogether. Every election cycle, this seems to come up to some degree. There is a push to federally legalize marijuana, but the wheels, again, of the government, especially the federal government, turn very, very slowly, and it doesn't look like anything on the horizon is realistic up to going to be changing these laws. So marijuana, most likely for the foreseeable future, is going to stay federally illegal. So if you have a federal test coming up, federal drug test coming up, it is probably going to continue to include marijuana. And if you test positive for marijuana, that could be used against you in order to not allow you to participate in whatever job that you are trying to get, unfortunately. So there has been some push back again uh, as far as just doing away with the urinalysis testing for marijuana and switching it to a saliva test, which has a much shorter window. So that might be something coming up in the future. Again, if any of this stuff does happen, I will make update videos, please stay subscribed to this channel um, so you don't miss any of those updates because as soon as one of these updates comes out, as soon as they change a standard or a testing procedure, I will make an update video so that you guys stay informed. All right, so that is all the facts about marijuana testing, specifically when it comes to the workplace. I hope you found this very, very useful and informative. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.